folders, folders, folders. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I have my back to school supplies haul which I'm so excited for and finally feel like I've got everything. These, pic these are pictures behind me, well this is a postcard, these two are pictures but basically I want to maybe fill this wall with pictures of like my friends and stuff so this is just a few here it looks quite silly grouped but they're just there because they're going to be on this wall anyway so just wanted to point that out and then I might film here like with the pictures in the background like I said in last week's video or it might have been the week before actually my book haul I'm not actually sure where I want to film yet so I'm just trying in a few different locations but like I said today is my back to school haul so I'm just going to get straight on into it because I'm so excited so the first place I went is Paper Chase I actually bought a bag because like I had so much stuff and I just could not carry it so it's really loud I picked up a binder and it's like this brown colour with this gold foil design kind of, I don't know how well the camera's picking up because it's probably reflecting the light here it is um, which is just like brown inside and I picked up this binder because I really liked it and I wanted a binder for like to start my revision that's not going to happen but yeah you know so I got a binder I actually picked up two more um, today whilst I was out but I got this from Paper Chase to start off with and yeah it's just this brown folder like this gold over gold foil like on top of it it's really pretty very simple very pretty and then to go inside the folder I got some binders and again I just got some brown ones just to match the folder because the other ones in the shop like didn't go um, but I think these were actually designed for this folder but no but I picked up two back packs of 10 dividers so I've got 20 dividers probably don't need that many looking now but at least I've got them if I do use them and then sticking with the brown oof, sticking with the brown theme I just got this um, refill pad which is like brown in colour so I thought it would look really nice in the binder which yeah that's kind of why I got it but also because my one from last year that I had left over is like completely wrecked so I got this one and then but I'm gonna have to pick up two more anyway for the two other binders that I got but yeah this is for the brown one and then sticking with like the brown theme with the folder I got this weekly planner now I decided I was going to get uh, like a weekly planner or an overview week thing desk pad like just to try and stay organized a bit more this year because obviously it I'm going into year 11 so I'm sitting my GCSEs and I just want to be a bit more organized and be able to balance like all my schoolwork and my personal life and still be able to have a bit of me time whilst I'm like revising so I picked up this weekly planner and it does look a bit boring but I figured I could just jazz it up anyway with like you can stick pictures on and just kind of design it how I want um, and it comes over a two page spread so literally the whole planner is just filled with this and because it doesn't have any dates in you can kind of just pick it up and start it whenever you please so you've got okay I'll show you on this page first on this page you've got the week so I'll just probably put the start date of the week like tomorrow's the 14th so I'll put week 14 and then you've got all the months along here so I will probably highlight them to like add a bit of colour because it is very um grey and quite bleak so if I highlight them up then have a bit of colour and then it's got priorities this week and there's like five different lines and then I've got a shopping or there's a shopping list section you can't the camera's really not picking it up it's because where the light is um there's a shopping list section but they've got little tick boxes and I really like tick boxes so why are they so loud 
I'm just going to carry on filming. I'm sorry if you can hear them in the background. They're little brats. I do apologise. You're joking. I love them really. Anyway, it's got this shopping list section and I probably won't use it for a shopping list but like say if I have run out of something like makeup remover or something I will just jot that down so I remember but I might do it as like a tick list as well like things to get done and then at the bottom there's just a notes section which the camera is actually picking up. If I show you closer up you'll be able to see so that's the first page and then the notes section down at the bottom. And then on the other side, because like I said, it's like a two-page spread for the week. There's things to get done at the top, and then in the bottom half, there's things planned for me time, which I thought was a really nice touch, because like I said, I want to balance my work and me time this year better than what I did last year. Um, and then something that I also really liked in here was Monday through to Sunday, You've got my water intake and it's just got eight little glasses and it's got my five a day and it's got five little boxes. So again, I was going to like highlight them corresponding like water for blue and five a day in like green or something. But yeah, I just picked up this planner and I can just decorate it myself as well, which is really cool. Sorry if my position changed, I think I was about here. And then whilst I was in Paper Chase, they had a three for two offer on. So I saw these revision cards and I thought I'd pick these up. There's a pack of 100, they're really big and they've got lines on, which is literally, yeah. I've never really kind of used revision cards before. Like I've used the really small ones, but because they were so small, I couldn't fit a lot of information on. But I do actually think they're really handy to really condense your revision and make it a lot easier to learn. And then as my third one, I just got these Stabilo um, neon fine liners because I really like annotating my poems in fine liners because I just find it so much easier because they're smaller so they fit in the gaps. But the set that I bought last year just like don't all fit in my pencil case and because there's like so many of them. So I just got the neon ones because then I can have like just this pack and... It will be really handy and then the last thing the last thing that I got in paper chase was a lamy because I've had so many people talk about these and like say how good they are and all of this but because like they're fountain pens and because I'm left-handed the ink doesn't dry and I just smudge it all across my page so I picked up the Lamy Safari which is a rollerball because I quite like rollerballs and I thought well I see how I get on with that and it's just pink in colour. So yeah I picked up a uh, Lamy Safari and hopefully it's going to be okay. And then also I just got a refill as well because he's doing that on purpose. I got a refill because it saves me going back into town to get one when it runs out so I've just got a back up refill and then after I went to New Look and I went to New Look and picked up this like it's almost like mermaid print kind of thing it looks really cool when it catches the light. It looks pink from here, but here it's like blue and green. It's, it's really pretty and it's actually a makeup bag because I find a size like this is like not too big for a pencil case, but also because it's a makeup bag, it's got like that bit of extra room in, so it's easier to get all like your maths stuff in and everything you need. Where last year I had two different, I had two pencil cases and it was just a hassle. Where this year, because I've just got that bit bigger, and it's like a beige colour inside and it's just that bit bigger because it's a makeup bag then it's going to be easier to fit everything in so that is the reasoning behind this and also you can't do a stationery haul without a new pencil case every year I get a new pencil case so this is it this year and I'm going to try and stick to this one all year round because normally I like swap them up throughout the year but this year I'm going to try and stick to this one and then I also bought some more folders. This was in Morrison's, was it? Yeah. 
so i just got this mint green one okay wrong way um this mint green one and oh no these were from sainsbury's weren't they yeah these are from sainsbury's i just got a mint green one and like a bright pink one so they don't really match my other one i guess they kind of do but you know i could have done a bit so i just picked up these two and these are from sainsbury's and they were £1.50 each and my one from Paper Chase was £6 so a bit on the pricey side but it's okay and then also from Saint Sainsbury's I picked up the Bic um, four colours but these are the shiny ones like the metallic ones I've always wanted the metallic ones and I had like one of these last year but because I only really buy in blue ink I just went through them so quickly so this was in a pack of three so I've got three lots of blues to get through. And yeah, they're the shiny ones. So I thought, yes then. And then, oh, these are from Morrison's. I then realised I didn't have any binders for my new folders. So I just picked up these binders from Morrison's. These are quite bright, funky colours. So they do actually like coordinate with the folder. And then last but not least, I actually got this before... I finished school actually for summer but it is this huge khaki green bag from Primark so it's just got the strap here and then it's got some handles and then I bought this pom-pom separately again from Primark it's just the khaki green pom-pom and then here it's got like this zip detailing but it's not actually a zip it's a pocket so I thought I'd actually got a broken bag when I first got this because I'm like trying to undo the zip but it's not meant to undo it's just a pocket and then it zips across the top which is really handy because yeah just keeps all your stuff dry if it rains so this is the bag it is absolutely huge I will be doing a what's in my school bag and then inside it's just got a zip pocket and two other compartments but something that I really like and that I wanted for this year was a bag that would fit my laptop in so like when I say after school I can just like use my laptop and it's just a bit more comfortable as well because it's my school bag I think this was £12 from Primark it was 10 or £12 and the pom-pom was like £3 because it was the larger ones but yeah so that is it it's quite small compared to last year because I still had my ruler and I didn't need a new calculator or anything like that um, and these highlighters I got towards the back end of the year so they're still okay they're just like the squeezy ones which don't actually squeeze but yeah they're these ones um, and yet to get a new glue stick which is why it's in this haul because I will have got a glue stick but I'm not getting that until closer when we get to school so this is just like a demonstration you've got to pretend this is a full one and then also the pens that I really love writing in which are the big round sticks I've got plenty of anyway I've just got the blue ones which I write in more often and then the black ones for ones that I just use in certain subjects and then I've also got a Tipex mouse because I bought this again before we broke up and yeah so tipex and yeah that is it for this back to school haul so it's quite a small haul there's lots of like folders and revisiony kind of bits but i did get a few pens as well and revision cards so yeah that is it for this video and the first in my back to school series but yeah so if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all next week with a brand new video bye